So and our, then you got so you joined the navy. Did did uh did you did you go straight to straight to underwater demolition training? No, no. Back in the day, they wanted you to have an A school. Okay. <clears throat> so I got out of boot camp in '65. Went to North Island in Coronado for about seven months, waiting for my radium in school. Mm-hmm. Then was lucky enough to go to 22 weeks of radium in school. <laughs> And then went from there to the USS Paul Revere for about four months, and then went to uh, training. And I started training January 6, 1967. And how big was your class when you showed up to that? <clears throat> there was about, I don't know, 200 of us maybe, maybe 150. How many guys made it? There were about 30 of us that made it, yeah. which was pretty good, and it was colder than shit. But <laughs> <clears throat> I, I don't know how you guys did when you went to training, Jocko, but... <clears throat> We made a pact that we weren't going to let anybody quit, and we did everything we could to make that happen. So, yeah. and some guys did make it through that we shouldn't have. Yeah, that's that one work. of the yeah. that's one of the things I've talked about with Leif is it, yeah. you see that. And I was never instructor at Buds, but eventually you say, you know, you don't want to help people through. Yeah, if they're not going to make it through on their own. You don't want them. You know, you got to get guys that are going to get through it on their own yeah but you know what i mean yeah you know, i know we got close and I we know. just figured you know, I know. This, you know i had a guy who was a that was a previous fleet guy and he had been to buds before and i, I became friends with him. he was a second class mature guy and i thought yeah this guy i'm gonna kind of kind of follow his lead a little bit you know second night of hell week he quit i was just i was laughing i'm like oh my here's a mature guy 27 years old you know i was a kid and he's quitting ridiculous Damn. 